this notion that these things do not exist. Okay. Well, we got Mr. Z up here, and he's uh, on limited time. So we're going to let Mr. Z get right on in and do what he got to do. Vroom, vroom. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Go ahead, <my> <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, all. What's going on, Casual Black Uru? Raj, great topic, great link. Um, and it's actually so you know this this you, you, what 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 I saw was a progression of contempt. What you saw from the sisters in the 80s is they didn't really want to be bothered, they did not want the responsibility, and there could have been contempt there, at least from the clip that we saw. You didn't really see it as contempt. It's just like I don't want to be bothered with a man, I don't want the responsibility. As you move up into the aughts, right, in the 2020s and the 2018s and 19s, what you see there is a sheer contempt for men, for black men in specific. It's more than I just don't want the responsibility of being a wife. I don't want him here. Just, and excuse my language, just give me the sperm and leave. And let me tax you for, for this child financially, right? Um, and that speaks to, and I'm sorry if I'm, if I'm stepping on anyone's toes and if, if anyone said what I'm saying now, but that speaks to, to me, essentially seeing you like the white racist man does, maybe even worse, you know, it, <laughs> and it, it, it's frightening because this, this is a culmination of what we see all through the internet. And some of us see in our actual real lives is you could see it in 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 the exchange um in that um on that panel i guess you saw it with with how the young ladies were responding to the young men we it's more than we don't need you we we have contempt for you right and i don't know how you share a community with a group of people that think like that even if it's not the majority of that group that loud minority that does have and we're we're seeing that they're starting they have influence we're seeing you know once again the goldman sachs we we see how how they're able to move in some of these circles and um you know dr hassan um uh, did a video over a month ago now where he spoke and it might have been a month ago but he spoke about how how do black women say you ain't ish or how do black women insult black men when they're well educated and well spoken, right? They don't say you ain't ish. They move along and, and deal with Goldman Sachs and either insult you in, in a funny way by omission, right? They continue to mention black women, black women, black women, black women. And they make black women and black communities synonymous with each other, right? We see that sometimes, you know, black Uru is a father, he could tell you line by omission, right? So to me, I'm I'm coming up with a new phrase of somebody didn't come up with it already, insulting you by omission, belittling you by omission, right? And I would say that's maybe what the sisters in the 80s were doing, where modern day black women, they don't even want to, they don't even want to try that. <laughs> they just go straight for it. You're nothing but a sperm donor. And it's interesting because many of these women don't even have children. So th this isn't even coming from some type of contempt of an actual baby daddy. This is just contempt for black men, period. <laughs> right? I didn't even have the baby daddy experience yet. I just have contempt for black men, period. And, you know, I just think that sharing a community with this loud group of people who, once a person puts a camera in their face, once they're in academia, once they're, they're with around any non-black person, especially a oh, white man with any type of influence or power. Oh, they gonna tell the world how much they can stand your ass, you know. And I'll pause right there for now. Well, that that's a good point because they can't wait to tell, quote unquote, uh, family business in, as long as you put a camera in front of their faces. But especially some white person, okay. And if it's a white man, it's just at a higher level. And I did actually hear people saying. Back in the day, when I was a kid, they used, they used to say stuff like, uh, you know, you don't put your family business out there. You know, or when they, and, they, and they were saying that in talking about black people. It's like, you know, we, you don't go to the media and, you, and you, you put yourself out there. Now, I probably was being told that because it was so many black women. <laughs> this is just me guessing right now. I'm thinking I was told that because there was so many black women going on TV 
you know, talking down on black men. So I'm assuming that's why I was probably being told that as a, a small kid, that we're not supposed to go out there and tell the quote unquote family business to everybody, you know, but, you, um, you know, Raj real quick, you know, um, if you listen to some of the, if you, because I listened to them, I didn't actually read them, but you know, um, like audio books type stuff. And if you listen to, or find out some of the reasons why the South seceded from the union, they verbatim said, no, nah, we, we want to keep this slavery thing going. We want to keep this hierarchy. They were very overt. And what you saw is the progression of time at the end of the civil war, you saw, um, you know, throughout um, reconstruction, through Jim Crow, the language got a little bit softer, just a smidge, right? To now modern day, you know, white people, they act like, no, nah, no, nah. it was strictly because of Northern aggression. And of course it was, there was Northern aggression there, but the South was very clear. They were very clear. What I'm tying to this is, you can see how very clear these sisters, especially in the eighties, were they were very clear about why they did not want to be in relationships with black men. They just wanted the child, right? What you find is because of, you know, that's abnormal and everyone's like, wait, you don't want a family, but you want the child and you're doing things to have the child and then doing things to not have the family. Black women probably caught on real quick. And this is speaking of something you say oftentimes, which is the embarrassment part. They got embarrassed. And so the language changed from I don't want the man to no, the man doesn't want to be around. He's a deadbeat father. He's a the language changes because they want that embarrassment off of them for them being the abnormal one for them wanting no family or to destroy the family, right? Or to only have that, have you around as long as the child can walk. What's the, what's the child can walk and talk, you're out the door, right? So that's something I wanted us to also see. Well, well also, the, it was an mm -hmm. easier sell 